Let's get salty! Hey everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video and Nova just wants to say hi. She's been a very cuddly girl today, a very noisy girl today. Maybe because she knows I want to get something off my chest regarding Hearthstone. The current meta, the current game, and I know I'm a broken record, but we're just 200 subs short of 49,000. We got a big giveaway planned. Nova's very excited about it. So excited. She left me. Maybe she'll come back if we get 200 more subscribers. Um, please hit that button. We got a lot planned on the road to 50K. So it'd mean a lot to me if we'd hit that goal. So today, yes, I wanna talk about the state of Hearthstone. And as a channel that's very critically minded, a lot of our videos are talking about what can be improved in the game, our issues with the game. I wanna go over why I feel right now, Hearthstone, it's, as I'm recording this on May 7th, 2022, is in the best spot I think it's been in since United and Stormwind launch. We had that whole video yesterday was basically my way of crapping on it. <laughs> Let's be real, crapping on the expansion, the damage that had, but I wanna give credit to the direction and the changes that have been made since. Channels like ours, social media, all these places are ways for us to put our criticisms out there when we feel the game's not in the best spot, when the direction is wrong. And I feel like in the last couple of expansions, we have gotten to a point where United Stormwind came, there's still parts of it that are lingering in the game, but the game has kind of gone back to a bit of normalcy. Again, there's problems, and we can talk about that right now, looking at uh, across all stats, and again, I just wanna also get this off my chest while I'm getting things off my chest. I do not, I never use this front page as a source of like my analysis and my critiques and all that, but it's a great indicator to see where everybody is at, because it's across all ranks. We always follow it up by taking a look at, you know, the tab I have open, top 1000 legend or vicious syndicate or whatever. We'd always do that, but I always get these comments. The people that watch like the first 30 seconds are like, oh, he's using the front page. The guy's an idiot. But no, I use it as a general indicator because well, across all ranks encompasses everybody. And well, everybody does matter in Hearthstone. So if you take a look at HS replay, there is a bit of an issue today. There is a bit of an issue where there's a lot of classes that suck. Uh, we have in particular Shaman, Warlock, Rogue, and Priest. You can even lump Druid in there. Uh, my standard legend climb this month, um, I haven't faced one Druid. I haven't faced one Shaman or a Rogue and I faced only a few Priests and Warlock. I'll try and have the graphic there. It's been rough. Um, but yeah, like th there's that issue. We have the course, the issue. If you look at high, re uh, high legend, we have that issue of it being, you know, only a couple of classes really being viable at top tier. But this is the point I wanna make. This is the point I wanna make about this. We have a balance issue, right? Like Drek'thar. If you look at Drek'thar, Mulligan win rate, we've gone over this a billion times already. Hopefully it's addressed, but it's exceptionally high. If you look at the decks Drek'thar is really good in, in Naga Demon Hunter, it's even higher, 72%, which has never been an acceptable metric. However, I would imagine that's gonna get adjusted and that's a balance issue. And that's the point I wanna get at. For the last couple of expansions, the main complaints, like the biggest complaints we have had have been the fundamental feeling of Hearthstone has felt completely off. We can't play control, mid range is dead. It's like hyper aggro, hyper combo and quest lines being solitaire and all that. It just felt terrible. But you look at Naga Demon Hunter, it, it's just an aggro deck. It's an overtuned aggro deck but it's just an aggro deck. You have Control Warrior, which I don't even think is really a problem. I mentioned From the Depths being a possible nerf candidate, but again, you don't even need to do that. There's plenty of counters, but it's a control deck. We're complaining maybe about a control deck. I, I hear complaints, even though it's not that good all the time about Mech Mage. It's actually not even in the top 1000 legend metrics, but again, it's like a mid range slash tempo aggro -y deck, right? It's more mid range if anything, the shark can scam you, but overall it's a mid range deck. The things we're complaining about are the things that I feel like are the good things to complain about in Hearthstone. Since 2014, since the game is, of Hearthstone is launched, we have complained about something, whether it's Crip, Rain Ad back in the days, or I've, you know, people like myself have kind of taken over those reins on standard ladder. And even in Wild, you take a look at Wild, we're kind of in the same spot. I think Wild is even, even a better state than standard right now. This is the Tempo Storm meta snapshot. Stats are hard to come by, uh, especially at H's replay, but they have in their tier one inner fire priest, which is a 
combo-ish deck. You have Pirate Rogue, which is an aggro deck. You have Free Shaman, which is like a control deck. And you have Even Warlock, which is a mid-range deck. You like have every archetype just put into one tier. And then you follow it up with a very tier two with a mid-range deck. You have Mechathune, it's another combo, an aggro deck, a combo deck. Hey, Questline Hunter, I'm gonna throw that out there. Stay it. I can't help myself. Uh, Beast Druid, which is an aggro deck. Mech Mage, I would say, is an aggro mid-range deck. But again, these are all regular style decks. And climbing the Legend in Wild, was I faced a ton of Pirate Rogue. And the beautiful thing about a deck like Pirate Rogue being the best deck, the like aggro deck being the most dominant deck that has limited finite value, you can beat it. You can beat it. You can run weapon removal. You can run a lot of armor gain. You can run um, healing. You can run Galaka Crawler. There are plenty ways to beat it and target it. So when a deck like Pirate Rogue is dominant, I think that's great for the format, to be honest with you. It's pretty targetable. Take a look at Kael'thas or Switcheroo. There's no countering that. They Unless you're like YOLO Rat on turn two and can remove the Kael'thas. There's no interaction. It's horrible gameplay experience, but now we have decks that, yeah, maybe Pirate Rogue's overtuned. Maybe Inner Fire Priest or whatever. One of these decks is too good, but that's the fun part about Hearthstone is debating what's too good, what's not good enough, what should get buffed, what should get nerfed. There's never gonna be a time ever in the history of Hearthstone where everyone's happy, where everyone has, you know, the strategy they want is the top tier thing. And we're at that point right now where I feel like we've kind of returned to a state of Hearthstone that's kind of normal. That's kind of feels like Hearthstone. We get to play games, and if you're like me, you get to bitch about aggro being too good and these devs pr printing premium statted stuff, or we're not complaining about a quest deck playing the same way every single game, and that's the experience. And that does exist. It's still not completely gone. You know, we still have Quest Center in particular is kind of that re remnant of United and Stormwind. It's really the only remnant left at a high level thing where it does that. But we talked about Drek'thar, you nerfed Drek'thar and Quest Hunter, which is barely surviving, at least at high legend, um, will get bumped significantly by that. And then I feel like you just kill all United Stormwind decks. <laughs> We're back to like kind of square one. And I think it's, I think for me, it's felt good. Like um, the last expansion, the last two expansions that were very United and Stormwind heavy, personally, I played more duels in arena than any other mode. United and Stormwind, I quit ladder basically after a few weeks, played only arena. And then I noticed duels and when uh, Fractured Altarac Valley started, I had about 800 duels wins. We are now what, in May? I have nearly 3000 duels wins. I played it like crazy because I didn't want to touch ladder. And well, now I'm Legend and Wild. We're working under Legend Climb and Standard and I'm enjoying playing every mode to an extent. I I'm, I'm annoyed. I get mad every time I get Drek'thard. It's really frustrating. But other than that, like I'm enjoying every ladder and I'm enjoying bitching about every mode. That's what I do. I can't help it. That's what I do. But I feel like it's the healthy style where it's not like I'm defeated, where it's not like I'm not playing Hearthstone. It's like we're at a point where we're now complaining about Hearthstone things. So that's right. This video is about being happy that I'm complaining about the right things, <laughs> I guess. But as silly as that is, I think that's important. I feel like it's important that the devs seem to have listened to a lot of the complaints they took over the last half year, especially after United Stormwind. And now we're back at a point where we're starting to see regular archetypes start to be the dominant, be the dominant force in Hearthstone. I feel like that's what our campaign was all about. Uh, all the complaining about these quest decks, that's what it was all about. And we're kind of getting back to that point. And I wanted to give some credit where credit's due and put out that I'm happy about things. I'm still gonna complain about things being too good or not good enough, but that's Hearthstone. That's a card game that's always gonna exist. But overall, I'm happy that that's where we're at now and we'll see how things go. Please nerf track there. That's all I can ask. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends. <laughs>